In the first video of this playlist, we talked about the toolbox. Uh, now what we want to do is to look at how we would use an input screen to be able to get information into the flow. Uh, just as a quick recap, though, to get here, you go flows, uh, you know, flows, flows, and then you select the flow we want. Now we want this one. If we opened it, we'd have version issues. Uh, what I'm actually doing is going to a version 6. So I'm going to do that and open it here. And then what I'm able to see is the version that I'm looking at. I'm going to drag across the screen because that's the element that I want. It opens it. And I'm going to call it test and accept that. Uh, the only thing I want to change here is this control navigation, or just to check it. Uh, does it allow previous? Now, this is important as we're walking through a flow, because once you've entered information, you don't want to be able to go back. Uh, but for us, uh, it's, it's actually helpful. If I click Done here, it would actually save it and it would be out. But what I want to do is to actually add some components. Now, these are the input components. And there's also a display text component that also is part of the screen component. So uh, there's a really helpful provided flow screen components guide that's in the documentation that actually walks through what each of these is. Uh, definitely worth taking a look at it. And just so you see it, this is part of the, uh, the, the lightning flow information. Uh, so go out and take a look at that. Uh, what I want to do, though, is to add a radio button. And so what I'm going to do is to drag that across into this panel. Again, this is, you know, feels more like lightning. And what I'm going to do is to call this a test radio button and accept the, the, the default here. And then what I want to do is to create the selections. What I'm going to do is to select, I could, you know, use an existing choice, but I'm going to show you how to build a new resource. And I'm going to ask for now a pick list choice set. And then what I'm going to do is to give it a name. Uh, and I'm going to call it a test pick list lesson type. And I'm going to select the object as lesson. And this is a custom object that we're working with that was in the second video that we talked about. Uh, but what I've got then is a, a data type. I've got a choice of pick list or multi pick list. I can choose record type or, or session type. Uh, I could change the order of the way it's displayed. Uh, but now I'm going to select done. And it's going to say, oh, it's still invalid. You say, oh, but that's because we now we created it, but now we have to uh, connect it. So I'm going to say use this text pick list type. Um, then what I'm going to do is to go here and ask for pick list. And just to be able to compare a radio and a pick list, I'm adding also this one. And I'm going to select this and call this a test P, right? And I'm going to enter it and use the same one that we use just for consistency, call that done. Uh, and actually, though, what I'm going to do is to add one more out there. I want to add a, uh, a component called a group checkbox. And that's important because you'll see I've used a, a multi-select pick list, and it's worth understanding how those things work. So I'm going to call this as a, a, a group, uh, just a G1, just to give it something as a placeholder right now. And then uh, we're going to call it our choice here. Uh, we actually, up here in the, in the pick list choices, we had already created a multi-select pick list. So I'm going to use that, but you saw how I did it with the earlier one. And I'm going to say done here. Uh, and then what that allows me to do is I can delete this connector. Uh, and that's just highlight it, touch the delete key. I can drag it to here now and say I want to connect, drop this in the flow so it's now in line. I can save it. Uh, and I can run it. And what this now shows is that we've got these, these were the, uh, the radio buttons. And if I click pick list, you'll see it's the same options, uh, just in a different format. In the same way, if we look at the, the group checkboxes, I'm seeing these. And if I look at the next screen, and we'll do more about this because this is what we're used to create records, you can see that we also have here a pick list, a multi-select pick list. So different ways that we can work with it. Um, hope that's a helpful starting point. And now we can talk specifically about this input screen. Thanks.